Ashto T209 covers the determination of the theoretical maximum specific gravity and density of uncompacted hot mix asphalt at 77 degrees Fahrenheit. The results are more precise when the aggregates in the sample are completely coated, so it is desirable to perform the test on samples that are close to the optimum asphalt binder content. We will be calculating the maximum theoretical specific gravity using the mass determination in air with a glass volumetric flask. You will also need a balance, drying oven, vacuum pump, residual pressure manometer, temperature measuring device, and safety gear for handling glass equipment under pressure. The equipment must meet the requirements stipulated in Section 6 of the standard. Be sure the testing apparatus is set up according to the arrangement illustrated in Figure 1. And the tube connecting the vacuum pump to the flask is covered with a number 200 mesh. It is critical that the residual pressure manometer takes the reading directly from the flask containing the sample. The volumetric flask must be standardized. Fill the flask completely with water at 77 degrees. The use of a bulb syringe and a glass plate help to ensure accurate filling. Remember that the plate used for standardization becomes an integral part of the flask for testing purposes. If a different plate is used with the flask, you must perform a new standardization. Make certain that there are no trapped air bubbles and remove all water from the outside of the flask and glass plate. Weigh the filled flask and plate to the nearest tenth of a gram and record the mass as D. For laboratory prepared specimens, condition the sample for a minimum of two hours at 275 plus or minus nine degrees. For plant mix specimens, dry to a constant mass at 221 plus or minus 9 degrees. Let the sample cool until it can be safely handled, yet is still warm enough to allow particle separation without fracturing the aggregate. Separate the particles by hand. The fine aggregate portion of the mix should be reduced to not more than a quarter of an inch. Allow the sample to cool to room temperature tear the standardized flask and transfer the entire sample to the flask. Obtain the net weight of the sample to the nearest tenth of a gram and record the mass as A. Cover the sample completely with water at a temperature of approximately 77 degrees. Place the flask on a resilient surface such as rubber or soft plastic. Apply a gradually increased vacuum until the residual pressure manometer reads 27.5 plus or minus 2.5 millimeters mercury. That's 3.7 plus or minus 0.3 kilopascals. Maintain the vacuum for 15 plus or minus 2 minutes. You may agitate the flask continuously with a mechanical shaker or manually by vigorously shaking about every 2 minutes. At the end of the vacuum period, Gradually release the vacuum at a rate not to exceed 60 millimeters mercury per second. That's 8 kilopascals per second. And proceed with the mass determination. We are demonstrating the mass determination in air. Fill the flask with water. And bring the contents to a temperature of 77 plus or minus 2 degrees. Use the glass plate that was standardized with the flask to ensure accurate filling. Make sure no air bubbles are trapped beneath the glass plate. Wipe off all excess water and weigh the flask and contents. Obtain the total mass to the nearest tenth of a gram and record as E. The mass determination must be completed within 10 plus or minus one minutes from the end of the vacuum period. Use the following formula to calculate the theoretical maximum specific gravity of the sample when determining the mass in air at 77 degrees Fahrenheit. A divided by the quantity A plus D minus E, where A is the mass of the oven dry sample in air, D is the mass of the flask 
filled with water at 77 degrees, and E is the mass of the flask filled with the sample and water at 77 degrees. In our example, the mass of the oven dry sample was 2,084.2 grams. The mass of the flask filled with water was 6,079.6 grams and the mass of the flask filled with the sample and water was 7,339.7 grams. 2,084.2 plus 6,079.6 minus 7,339.7 equals 824.1. 2,084.2 divided by 824.1 equals 2.52906. Report your answer to the nearest thousandth. For this sample, the maximum theoretical specific gravity is 2.529. For more details on the most recent specifications, consult the latest AASHTO publication, which may be ordered by calling 202-624-5800 or online at transportation.org.